Hi guys, it is Aoife from Freddy's United Laughing and I wanted to do a quick video today to tell you guys what books I want to try and read in the year of 2018. So I have so many books on my shelves, I have so many books on my TBR shelves, I have so many books on my Kindle. Sometimes it's hard to remember which ones I really really want to read. So I think maybe making this list might help me with remembering the ones I want to try and get read this year. So these are in no particular order so I'm going to go through them really quickly and the first one is Now I Rise by Kirsten White and I Darken by Kirsten White which is the first book in this, I think it's a trilogy, I'm not sure if it's a series, um, was one of my favourite books of, I think I read it in 2016 um, and it was just such a really refreshing kind of story with a really badass, kick-ass character um, and I just really enjoy the setting, I really enjoy the writing in it and I really can't wait to continue on with the story in this book. The second book is a book I've been telling myself to read for a very long time because I've only heard really good things about it and that is The Lie Tree by Frances Harding and this one just looks like a really interesting, kind of maybe a little bit spooky, um, a little bit magical read um, and I don't know that much about it but I kind of like keeping it that way as well um, and I'm hoping I might be able to read this quite soon um, and I just really I just can't wait to read it and really figure out what it's about but I have heard so many great things about this book. The next book I have has, has shown up in a few TBRs of mine particularly ones near October and it's The Do Dollocker by Caroline Bray and this is a book I got a couple of years ago. I found it very randomly in a bookstore. I had never heard of it before um, and it just sounded really really interesting and it's kind of like this weird kind of creature that is stalking the streets of Dublin um, in the 1800s that's killing people and like it says here at the top it says Victoria London had Jack the Ripper George in Dublin had the Dolliker and something about that just really appeals to me. I love the fact that it is set in Dublin, I love that it's set in um, the past in Dublin and I think it's just going to be a very interesting spooky mysterious read um, and I keep telling myself to pick it up and I just keep forgetting to pick it up so I'm really hoping I can pick this one up soon. The book again is the one that I actually am ashamed of myself that I haven't read yet and that is Assass Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb and I've told myself to read this so many times. I've seen it on my bookshelf and I said that is going to be one of my next reads and I just have never done it. I don't know why and Robin Hobb is like one of the loveliest people ever. She actually follows me on Twitter and she's always like liking my like my tweets and sometimes replying to my tweets and I feel really bad because I'm like oh my god I've never actually even read any of your books and you were just like the nicest person ever Um, and I've heard really nice things better from other people as well but yeah, I just really need to read this. Like, I'm surprised, like, Sam from Sam's Nonsense hasn't, like, killed me already for not reading this because, like, Robin Hobb is, like, one of her favourite authors ever. Um, So, yeah, this is going to happen really soon. I have to tell myself it's going to happen soon. Hopefully I will love it um, and I will, like, love the rest of the series. But, yeah, this is, like, shame on me for not having read this yet. Another one I know will definitely probably... will definitely most likely be read this month and that is Turtles All The Way Down by John Green. Um, I do think the Winter Bibliothon is on this um, this month, the end of the month and one of the cha challenges, um, one of the challenges I think is to, re to read a book about a mental illness. So I think I'm going to try and partake in that and then try and read this book for that challenge because this follows a character with OCD and um, I've heard loads of like mixed things about this which is kind of the case with John Green books anyway. I generally tend to like John Green's books a lot so I am looking forward to getting into this one and reading it. Another book is one I feel like I will just devour and that is David Attenborough's um, The Sioux Quest Expeditions Adventures of a Young Naturalist and this is just one that I think my animal loving heart, my nature loving heart will love. Um, David Attenborough is just an amazing man, he's had amazing adventures and I think just reading a book about his adventures when he was a younger man um, will be really really interesting and yeah, I'm very much looking forward to eventually diving into this one. Fuzzy Nation by John Scalzi has been on my shelf for quite a while. Um, the only book I've actually read by John Scalzi I think is Lock In. Um, and after that I really enjoyed that one. I was like, I have to read like everything that John Scalzi has written. And I just never got around to it. Um, I've heard really good things about this one. I do want to read it pretty soon. Um, it's like, it's not a very, like this is only a little mass market paperback. But even this one isn't that very long. Um, so I'm hoping to get into this soon and eventually have this read because it's been on my bookshelf for so long but I do want to try and get this one read. Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne is one again I've been saying I've been read I want to read since like I've had this over a year and I actually have it signed and everything because I met Holly Bourne um, a couple of years ago um, at a at 
Depcon in Dublin and she's very nice and I have one for her other books it only happens in the movies um, on my Kindle and I want to read that one as well um, but this one again I've just heard nothing but good things about this this spinster is it the spinster club spinster hood spinster club series um, or trilogy and yeah I just want to get into this one and see if I like it so it looks like it might be a fun read um, so yeah hopefully this year I will get around to that and the last book here is a big sci-fi book I've had on my bookshelf for a while since Katie from Katie Loves to Read she gave me this this was her copy and um, I think she read it and she wasn't crazy about it so she gave this to me because I'd been saying I'd really wanted to read it um, and I just haven't got around to it yet so this is another one I feel like this one I'm gonna love all I know is it's set in space it's about some kind of spaceship and that just appeals to me so I do really want to give this one a go and hopefully I will like it I really love the cover anyway even if I didn't like it but like yeah this is one I do want to read soon. So please let me know if you guys have read any of these books or if you want to read them. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys again next time.